Hey, hello everybody! Welcome to Let's Play Superman 3, and in this episode, we're going to take in Firestorm, uh, which is obviously a volcano level, and home obviously to Golem Bomber. Uh, area 1 is simple, it's just, uh, well, it looks like there's only three enemies, but in fact, there's about five. Um, two enemies are actually blocks, that you can exactly like the blocks that I'm blowing up right now. And when you when you blow up the first time, they get googly eyes and they will walk around a bit and then stop. And you gotta blow them up when they are walking around to kill them. Anyway, I spend most of the time here abusing my bomb. So there's one little beggars. I don't like them at all. Um, this guy decides he wants to follow me, so I counter him by trapping him in the little gap though. In case you haven't noticed, this is actually a post commentary, but by blowing this up, I believe I get an extra life from points. And I almost blow myself up there. The fires of those little volcanoes, I believe they don't hurt you. When I've been playing this, I did not get hurt from those. Anyway, I just need to blow this guy up, and he's not going to lose his Louis egg there. I believe I could have actually placed the lion bomb a little further up, and I would have got both the beacons needed to break the level. But that's just me. And then my fake OCD tries wants me to. So there's an items. There's an ice cream there which gives you a thousand points, and a bomb icon somewhere. I believe I also ummed an ad about getting the Louis, but I don't even get me another brown one. I was quite happy with the brown one and his ability to line bomb. But that's just me. So there's area one. I believe there's two gimmicks in uh, this world. I think one of them is in here, in area two. The giant volcano in the middle of the area. Yeah. Now the, the volcano in the area is actually alive. It will wake up sometimes and will spew fire down from the heavens. Uh, if it hits a block, it will uh, destroy the block. I don't know. I don't think it affects enemies, but if it touches a bomb, it blows up straight away. That can be quite problematic. You will, you will notice that if anything fire based, you'll probably notice my later games, you know, little episodes and stuff, that if anything fire based actually ha hits a uh, bomb, it automatically blows up. I believe it stings me in the face at the boss. At this level, I'm not sure. I know when I did uh, my other cards, which have kind of got nuked because I had to farm up my computer. There are a lot of times when I dropped a bomb, something set it on fire, and I kind of died stupidly because it blew my bomb up. It's kind of a problem with the lion bomb here. The other thing I think. Yeah, I think it was actually quite good that my uh, recordings got new because going through area 3 and area 4 was just nothing but fell. I'm not joking, there was just so much fell. I believe I even actually game overed in World 4. And I just said, sorry, I'm gonna. Um, Record some more live because I cannot be bothered anymore. Oh, those com those community enemies you see, I think there's one there that's faded. You can only hit them when they are actually solid. If they're faded, they will bombast will just go past them as if nothing happened. Those fire demons will blow up your bombs if the fire goes anywhere near your bombs. Uh, 
Uh, I think that's it for them. Is the bats are just bats, and they will just walk around hoping they will die. And you'll probably just seen those like, example of fire will blow your bombs up as it blew up the little fire team. I don't know if I need any more fire icons by now because I think I've got uh, quite a lot of them. In the, next, in the videos after this one, I'm doing uh, build three onwards. I'm gonna be. I'll probably still have. I think I already have max bombs and max flame by now, but I'll have those. And I'll probably have the remote detonators because of a password I found, which gave me pretty much all the items I would have probably had by now, like kit bombs and stuff. The only thing I wouldn't have would be remote detonators, and I get that. I get those in World 3. Anyway, Area 3 now. I believe this introduces the second gimmick. Yep. The uh, minecart. You can jump in the mine, basically you jump in the minecart, it'll break any block or enemy in the way. It's pretty fun to drive around. But you don't, I don't believe you don't get any points for squishing enemies. But all, all the enemies are in easy places. I mean, it, the battle throw is kind of stuck. And there's a kick bomb. I don't know why I walked past them, I think it just wants to kill that. But I ended up getting the capsule and the bat at the same time. Now I was kind of thinking of how I was going to get rid of this capsule here, and then I believe I stupidly walk into the uh, minecart. And not blow the thing up, well, no, not. I think it is. I think in one video I do go in the mind cut stupidly for some reason. I think it might be the next one. Well, there will be yet another gimmick involved in the mind cut, and there's another one of those bloody blocks. Now, the stairs in this level, and unlike the stairs in Bomberman 2, you can actually put bombs on and they'll blow up the stairs, so be careful. On the plus point, they don't actually. Um, Die. You don't touch the ball that stirs up. <laughs> I like how I managed to actually kill the block there for. Just by jumping into the minecart. What I really should have done, I should have just. Oh, yeah, the wraparound as well. The explosions will go around the wraparound, so be careful. And I almost blow myself up there. I think he just wants to get rid of the enemy. And then I go for a little minecart ride for giggles. I don't know why, I think it just wasted the time. I believe I blow the rest of the blocks up, because I think there's one more of the block enemies. There it is. I believe once I go through this door, that's the end of the video. So next time on Superman 3, I'll show you, I'll explain the spiky bomb and we'll see what happens next. Ciao!